Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I've got somebody new with me. This is my husband, Paul, and I've done a few niche perfume videos on this channel thus far, and after some reflection, I decided why not to bring Paul in for these videos because all fragrance is unisex, but especially our niche fragrances, we tend to share them. Mm -hmm. So I thought we would come talk to you about one of our favorite scents, which is B683 from Marc Antoine Berwell, and show you a little bit behind when we wear this one, how we wear this one, some of the notes that are in this, and yeah. What, what outfits we pair with it? Yeah, what outfits we yeah. would pair with it. So as I mentioned, this is B683 by Marc Antoine Berrois. He is a French clothing designer. I think the word is coutier. Coutier. My French is not freaking span, so you'll have to bear, me, bear with me on this one. And this is such a nice fragrance. Now, as I mentioned, fragrance is all unisex. However, However, when I wear this one, it's a bit, as much as I love it, like I absolutely love when you wear it, I love it so much that I'm like, I want to wear it, it's so nice. When I put this one on, I feel a little bit stifled, a little bit like it's, it's heavy, It's heavy, but I often find that that happens to me whenever I wear something that's a little bit more leathery, a little bit more smoky, mm. whereas you love See, leather. I, I feel like this, when I wear this, it's just spice. Mm. Do you not feel that? Because it's, it's so strange that when I wear it, you mm. compliment at me you know I've got it on but like you said when you wear it you do find it a little bit heavy but mm. I've seen quite a few videos on YouTube of people describing this one and they often say it's woody it's spicy it's leathery I know Maria says that it's quite See, peppery I, I don't get the leather I get the pepper mm. but I don't get the leather with it but I also think that you wear fragrances that are so leathery yeah, they that don't notice it so much. you don't notice it whereas for this for me there mm. is hints of leather in it and it's too much for me when I wear it yeah My Myself. That being said, when I do wear this one, I definitely want to be more elevated when I wear this one. This isn't one that you would wear to walk the dogs. No. I don't think. No. I have done, but... <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think... It's, it's something that you'd want to wear when you're wanting to feel a little bit more special, a little bit more elevated. However, for me, I think I, I wear this one, if I wear this one, a little bit differently to you. I feel like I want to be a little bit quirky, but still elevated, whereas how do you wear this one primarily? Cocktail bar. Okay. I end cocktail bar. That is this, this for me, that's the perfect place to wear this. You want to get your flashy gear on, you want to go out, you want to look so smart, sophisticated. That's how I would describe this one. So that's basically how you've dressed yourself that's today. That's how I've dressed myself today. Awesome. So what do you have on? Where so is it from? I've gone for a blazer mm -hmm. and a burgundy turtleneck. Mm -hmm. Kind of because of the weather. I mm -hmm. feel like this one, I wear this more in autumn, winter. Yeah, definitely. Because um, it warms warms you up this one yeah it really um, does yeah so i just you know nice glass of whiskey that's how i describe this one awesome so for me i would wear this one i i always think of this one for whatever reason like if i was like in a library and i was just posed with a book <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's bizarre. Yeah, yeah, like in a like, if I was in, I think the library that I always think of is the Trinity Library yeah, in, yeah, yeah. in Ireland, but, or if I was in New York with like rimmed glasses. Ah, like, uh, New York, I can see this. Yeah, I don't know why those are the images that come to mind when I wear this one. So that's like two completely contrasting vibes, I feel. I feel like... That's a broad spectrum for this perfume to cover. Yeah. It says a lot about it, I think. Yeah, I, I definitely think the one thing we can agree on is it's a definitely more uh, elevated vibe mm. when you wear this. Yeah, you wear this one and I feel like there are so many fragrances out there um, on the high street that all kind of merge into one mm. when you're on a night out and you can really smell this one above it. It's a level up. It's a couple so, of levels up even. So true because even when I wash your clothes after you've been wearing this one, although I do think you go a little bit extra on the spraying of it, you can still smell this mm. even though the clothes has been washed. Uh, you don't need to spray a lot of this one. I think you just have been in the habit when you used to you wear more. Overboard. Yeah, when you used to wear more high street or dupe fragrances, you yeah. would go crazy. However, I think you've mentioned so many times about the the spray yeah. of this one. So it kind of helps you out because you can do like one big spray. Mm. 
like that. Mm. But you can also do like half sprays like that. Mm. So that helps right a lot. I think if you were gonna do the full spray of this one, I personally would just do one full spray, one full spray. But you tend to like go like to go. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I tend to do three full sprays and then two half sprays just behind the ears. Personally, I think that is way too much for this mm. one. I think you could do like your little half sprays, but half sprays everywhere. I you'll think, be alright. <laughs> Trust we'll, me, you'll be okay. I think you'll have to agree to disagree on this one. <laughs> now, truthfully, when we went to Canada last, you brought this one with you, mm. and the room still smelt af way after we left. Like, yeah, your dad was on the phone saying, like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. Bed sheets still smell of this. Mm. And even when we go out, like, he always gets stopped, or your friends yeah. will say, this is the fragrance that I get asked the most. What is it? Where do I get it? Yeah, um, honestly. That's why, like, I try to wear it, but when I try to wear it, I'm like, this just isn't, it isn't me. Like, it's me but it's not. I feel stifled in it, but it is seriously so amazing. So now we're gonna go into what is actually in this one because we've we've described to you how this one makes us feel, how we would dress if we were going out wearing this one. So why don't we actually tell them what is right. in it? So this one, top the top notes are black pepper, chili pepper, nutmeg, and saffron. Mm. Now I've said, I get the pepper. Mm. Um, what do you feel? Yeah, I definitely get like spice, mm -hmm. but for me, there's something leathery and smoky about it as well. So the heart notes, are amber, labdanum, musk, violet, and violet leaf. Okay. So I don't get a violet leaf. I don't either, but maybe we haven't smelt it in its purest form. Mm, yeah. But also, remember last night when we were eating dinner and we were talking about, I think, salt, and I was like, we had um, like a caprese salad, and I, I put a little bit of salt on it, yeah. and I was like, how is it that the salt brings out the sweetness of the potato? Mm. Uh, potatoes, the tomatoes. Yeah. So maybe that's it what is, the violet yeah, is. Yeah. Um, and the base notes are ambroxan, oak moss, patchouli, and sandalwood. I ambroxan, I mean, like, this is not a synthetic smell by no. any stretch of the imagination. This is, like I said, it is, it is a cut above, so. Totally. I personally don't love patchouli or sandalwood, so I don't smell, but I don't smell those in this one, but honestly, this is such a See, complex... I, Scent. Mm, I would describe it as spicy, woody fragrance. But not so, sandalwood. Maybe not sandalwood. I mean, but obviously, it's <laughs> obviously it's in there. But to me, when I think of sandalwood, I think of yoga studios mm. and like something more organic smelling. And I don't feel like that yeah. smells like that at all. Anyways, my friends, that is it for this quick video. If you liked it, we would love if you hit the like button so we can understand that you want to see more fragrance videos like this from us. Yeah, uh, we got a few more. We, can we have a few more coming because there is a sister fragrance to this one that, I mean, it's a toss up yeah. for which one you wear more. Yeah, I love them both, we seasonal. Won't, yeah, we won't, <laughs> yeah, we won't go into it too much, but thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so as of yet, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.